This is all just from today. It's gonna be a really good thrift haul. Let's get into it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse, but let's get serious for a second. In this pile, there's 28 items. I paid $168 for everything today. I went to five thrift stores and four of them I was able to find inventory. We're about to dive into this pile, I'll go one by one, tell you exactly what I think each item is worth, and then a few important details that you guys should know. I really hope this video helps you make a few more bucks at the thrift store, helps you grow your reselling knowledge, but if you need a little bit more help, check out the course in the description below and help us keep growing this channel. But let's get into this thrift haul. All right, since there is so many items in here, I am gonna breeze through some of these quite quickly. If you do have any more particular questions, drop them in the comments below or shoot me a message on Instagram at junkie underscore and I can help you guys out some more. But just to kind of reiterate from the intro, everything here costs about $5.80 on average and I spent 160 bucks today. This is what I got. First things first, Travis Matthew jeans. I've never found jeans by Travis Matthew, but if you don't know about this brand, it's just the golf brand. They do make several other pieces of clothing, but for the most part, you're gonna find polos, golf shorts, things like that. These pants, they actually sell pretty regularly for around 30 to 40 bucks. So that's a nice little sale there. Next pair of Billabong board shorts. If you've been following me at all, you guys know that I love board shorts. I love selling these things in the spring and summer. These are unique because they're actually made in the USA. It means they're older. Look for those kinds of details. There is a pretty good following with these major surf brands. A lot of people are like cult followers of them just because they are kind of like mall brands or whatever. Don't doubt that some people are willing to pay a good amount of money for things like this. So I'm assuming that these, since they're not super uh, exciting, we'll probably get around 22 to 25 bucks for these. This is a brand I've never heard about. It's called Adriano Goldschmidt, whatever. They are called the Protégé Pant. They're in perfect condition and these were selling for around 25 to 35 bucks since they are in like literally brand new condition. I'm assuming at least $30 for these. These may look stupid <laughs> and they kind of are. They're in and out board shorts, right? So they are like a promotional product made for in and out. Uh, these go for like $30, which is kind of crazy. Uh, they're in perfect condition and they're a nice little cheeseburger. So I'm assuming someone well, that likes cheeseburgers is gonna buy these, I don't know. One of my other favorite things to sell in the spring and summer is cargo shorts. When it comes to these, the heavier duty and the more pockets, the better. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's true. If you find like really, really, really heavy duty pant versions of these, they can go for 60, 70 bucks. Um, these are polo jeans, Ralph Lauren. These I'm assuming we're gonna get around 25 to $30. People like the military distressed versions of these a lot. So look for those. Okay, so this is a brand that I've seen on Instagram ads. I've recently been looking for a pair of shorts and a pair of pants for myself. So all I see on Instagram is ads for like these kind of smaller niche menswear companies. This is one of them. It's called Roark. Now these are brand new of tags and these board shorts are priced at $75. These are nice. I did pay up for these. I have several of them, which you'll see in a second but I paid $12 a pair for these, and I'm assuming we're gonna get around $45 to $50 each pair. These are actually made of Cordura, which is a really nice fabric. It's really strong. It's used in a lot of military applications and even race car applications. So if you ever see Cordura, look it up because it may really be worth your time. And also learn about these smaller brands. There are a lot of brands that are super, super expensive. Like if you're on Instagram and you're seeing clothing companies pop up, you should go check out how expensive some of these smaller brands are. I mean, they're, again, these are priced for $75 for a pair of board shorts. Like it's pretty crazy. So don't pass over brands that you don't know. If they look interesting, look them up. Again, another pair of Roark shorts. Uh, these are just the little floral pattern. These retailed for $65. I'm assuming another $45 sale for these. And again, another one. This is another Roark. This was cool. I found them all on uh, the rack when they first came out. So that's one of my biggest thrift tips is if you see an employee coming out from a rack, don't be shy. Attack that rack as soon as you can. Don't wait around, just go after it. This is how you find the best inventory. So that's my thrift tip. These are a pair of split board shorts. They got the rainbow pattern. Things like rainbow patterns, American flag patterns, and camouflage, they tend to do well. I'm assuming we'll get around $23 for these since it is Pride Month and people are probably looking for rainbow shorts right now. 
Speaking of camo, this is a pair of camo Quicksilver shorts. Nothing too crazy about these. They're not stretchy. They're just like a basic board short, but I'm assuming probably another $23 for these. Moving on to Billabong board shorts. Again, not stretchy, not crazy, but they do have a really cool pattern there. Really great condition overall, and they are the recycled fabric ones, so look for that as well. A pair of Quicksilver shorts. Nice big size. I think these were like a 38. Great colors, great pattern overall, super funky. Again, probably another $23. Okay, a pair of Billabong shorts. These got cool parrots all over them. When it comes to board shorts, people like these funky patterns. So look for crazy stuff like this. Understand that people don't want just basic board shorts. They want to show off a little bit. So the funkier, the better. I'm assuming probably 25 to $28 for these. A pair of Under Armour running gym shorts, camo pattern, great condition. Only buy gym shorts in really good condition. Don't get them if they're beat up, if they're pilling, if they have holes, if they have any of that stuff, just pass on them. These probably 18 to $20. Now these were actually priced for $16 at the thrift store, so I did pay up for them. They are the Ariat M4 flame resistant pant. This is a very popular pant from Ariat. The M4 series sells really, really well. This pant, I'm assuming since it's like brand new condition, we're gonna get around $55-ish for these. Maybe 60 if we get lucky because I haven't seen any other black pairs on there lately. And then a pair of vintage Levi 550 jeans made in the USA. Uh, they are a size 33, which typically I like to get smaller sizes because women like the smaller sizes, but these were in pretty much fantastic condition. And yeah, I'm assuming we'll get around 35 to $45 for these. Let's get a couple shoes out of the way. These camo vans, they were in great shape. The whites are a little bit dirty, but it doesn't really matter. Don't get these if they're beat up. They don't retail for that much, so they're not going to sell for that much. But since they are camo, they're in good shape. I'm assuming 35, maybe $40 if we get lucky, but I technically only paid five bucks for them. So it's a good find. A pair of Red Wing boots. These are made in the USA. These are in phenomenal condition. I mean, they look almost brand new. Again, these were priced for $5, which is crazy. I'm assuming we'll get around 55 to 60-ish dollars for them. Guys, so real quick, let me interrupt. In this part, I was totally wrong. I looked these boots up while I was editing this video, and actually they sell for a lot more money than 55 or $60. I'm expecting to get around 85 to maybe even $120 for them, if I can clean them up slightly. So yeah, I just wanted to admit that I was totally wrong. I didn't do any research before I filmed this thrift haul. Let's get back into it. A pair of little Heelys. These are a kid's uh, pair. Fun fact about Heelys, they'll always have like the model name on the inside tongue. So you could look those up. Adult Heelys do sell well. Kids ones, they sell well as, as well. These are great because you can usually just pack them in a bubble mailer and they ship really cheaply because they're not super heavy. So yeah, look out for those. Make sure the wheels spin, make sure they're not locked up or anything like that. Um, but yeah, these are nice little like 30 to $35 sales all day. This vintage military bag, I believe this is the M1959. Uh, that's not the exact year. This is just like the model name of it, but it's from like the late 50s-ish. Uh, these bags, they go for around 30 to $35, depending on the condition. This one's in great shape, so I'm assuming we'll get around $35 again for it. Military in general is very, very specific to the era. It depends on what war it's from. Things from like Vietnam are very, very sought after, but then things from like Desert Storm aren't that sought after. So learn those things don't get too excited about military stuff because again it's surplus for a reason there's a lot of it that was mass produced and never used for wars and a lot of people don't buy that stuff so that's my two cents there moving into tops uh team hoyt archery you guys probably saw this in another video a red version of this polo this is the first time i found the camo version hoyt is just the archery brand people like these types of polos it's a performance fabric we're going to get around 20 to 25 dollars for this one Vintage Exxon Mobil work jacket. This is actually a uniform. This isn't like a fake reproduction or anything like that. It literally says uniform. It's a union made item. Really great shape overall. Uh, I have no idea what it's worth, so I'm not even gonna really guess, but I'm assuming at least 40 to $45, if not more. Again, I'll look it up, and if it's something crazy, I'll update you guys later on. Now, speaking of crazy, look at these two things. They are Sandlot, the movie Sandlot. If you've never seen it, you're missing out on life, but pretty much what they are is just all over prints of the characters, but they are a collab with this brand called the Roosevelt, which I've never heard about this, 
but when I looked these shirts up, I couldn't believe what they sold for. Each of these shirts go for around $40 to $50 a piece in used condition, so that's pretty crazy. So when you see crazy stuff like this that is a collab with other companies, other movies, things like that, look them up because I thought this was just gonna be like a $15 shirt. My jaw dropped when I saw it, so never pass on anything just because you've never heard about it. Now, I got two of these as well. I'm telling you guys, I had a great day thrifting. It was awesome. What this is, is a Air Force Gore-Tex jacket. So this is a nice little waterproof jacket. Really, really quality piece. Um, I've never found this parka, but when it comes to these, some of these do go for a lot of money, especially if they're flame resistant. These are not. But since these are in great shape, we're gonna get around $45 to $60 a piece for these. So these are great little flips. Again, I wanna reiterate, with military stuff, it's not always worth that much, but it's super easy to look up because if the tag is there, it gives you all the information in the world, it tells you what it's called, it'll even give you the military spec number, so you can really find out a lot of details about these things, so yeah. Nike Pro Combat long sleeve, it's got the little football skull guy on the sleeve there. With these, they need to be in great shape. The funkier patterns, the funkier colors, they'll sell better. This one will go for around $23. This is a vintage redhead bone dry hunting jacket. It's got the shoulder patch there. You can always just tell by that. Um, and then it'll usually have the shotgun shell holders on the inside pockets. Some of these hunting jackets, they go for good money. I'm assuming this one is gonna go for around 50 to $60 just because it is in good shape and it's a good size. Um, with these, remember people are typically gonna use them to go hunting. Some people may wear them as just fashion statements, but don't get beat up ones. Don't get really, really nasty ones. You got to remember people are killing animals while wearing these jackets. So if you find ones with huge blood stains on them, I probably suggest passing on those. Okay. And wrapping up this video of more Roark stuff. So these are two Roark short sleeve shirts. We were talking about the board shorts earlier, but then I found these shirts in the same pile. I thought this Hawaiian shirt was really cool. The scorpions of the Sahara. Uh, I just thought it was super funky. These shirts as well, they sell between $25 and $40 depending on the pattern and the condition. This one I'm assuming will get a little bit less, but this one I was not able to find. So I'm hoping that we'll get a few bucks more for this because it is such a cool shirt. And yeah, guys, I've had a pretty awful past few months thrifting. I just haven't been finding great stuff. I've been having just issues with my business in general. But then there's days like this where I just clean up. I mean, I killed it today. I had a great time. I only spent three hours to find all this stuff and we should make a really, really good return on this $160. So my biggest tip when it comes to thrifting, don't give up even when things are crappy, even when you just don't wanna go thrifting, go try, go see what you can find and just never give up. Push past the nonsense and you never know what will happen. You guys, until next time, my name's Sebastian, cheers.